Dear friends in Christ, God created us in His own image and likeness. By creating us, God gave us a special purpose to fulfill. He called us to come closer to Him by knowing, loving and serving Him. Today, I would like to share with you my reflections on Vocation, a prophetic call. A vocation is a call from God to come closer to Him, to do His holy will. St. Therese of Lysdijk says, My vocation, at last I have found it. My vocation is love. Mother Teresa echoes the same truth when she says, Many people mistake our work for our vocation. Our vocation is the love of Jesus. Dear brothers and sisters, God has a wonderful plan for each of us. Yes, for me and for you. In creating us, given, giving us grace in all our work and play, God is drawing us towards holiness and perfection. Let me tell you, who is a prophet? A prophet is a person who speaks God's truth to others. The English word prophet comes from the Greek word prophetess, which means one who speaks forth or to speak on behalf or adequate. Prophets are also called seers. Because of the spiritual insight or their ability to see the future. Prophets had the task of faithfully speaking God's word to the people. They were instrumental in guiding the nation of Israel and establishing the church. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 20 says, God's household is built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. We see in the Bible the call of God to different personalities. Abraham was the first person to be designated a prophet by the clear word of God, which is found in Genesis chapter 20, Verses 6 and 7. God appointed many prophets arose after Abraham. They were chosen from many walks of life. Moses was adopted in infancy by an Egyptian princess and thus received a princess education. Ezekiel and Jeremiah were priests as well as prophets. David was first a shepherd, then warrior, king, poet, and a prophet as well. Amos was a herdsman, Elisha was a plowman, and Daniel was a government administrator. From such diverse backgrounds, God chose his prophets. In the New Testament, when Jesus called his disciples, they did not look like winners. He picked up simple people like a tax collector, fisherman and said, I believe in you. What I know, I will teach you. Yes, God does not call the qualified, but he qualifies those he calls. Their influence and authority did not come from their rank, education, wisdom or wealth, but entirely from the fact that God chose to be his messengers. In the words of St. Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 26 to 29, Consider your own calling, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful 
and not many were of noble birth rather god chose the foolish of the world to shame the strong and god chose the lowly and despised of the world those who count for nothing to reduce nothing those who are something so that no human might boast before god so we may define a prophet as one appointed by god himself to be his messenger pope francis says god call you to make a definite choices and he has plan for each of you to discover that plan and to respond to your vocation is to move toward personal fulfillment a call is a gift that we receive from god a call is not a career a career is something we do for ourselves a call is something we do for god a career promises status money or power on the other hand call generally promises difficulty suffering and the opportunity to be used by god a career may end with retirement a call is not over until the day we die a career can be disrupted by any number of events but when god calls us he enables us to fulfill our calling even in the most difficult circumstances god calls each of us personally by name our response can only be as the unique individuals that we are we respond with our own willingness wholeheartedly in total freedom with our own talents and abilities our own shortcomings and limitations i would like to quote from the book of exodus chapter 4 was to when god called moses one of the question he asked him was what is that in your hand moses held his shepherd's staff it represented his livelihood it's what he was good at it represented his income his flock was his wealth and his family's security God asked him to be willing to lay it down. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, today God asks each one of us, what is that in your hand? What has been given to you? God has blessed us with his life, his resemblance, his entire creation. He has filled us with the gifts and fruits of the holy spirit god has given us good families relations gifts and talents wealth and experiences the most important thing is to be busy with our own works and doing it sincerely and also to be ready to hear the call of jesus we must pray every day to know his will and if he does call us speaking silently in our hearts we must listen for example if the radio is not tuned to the right station no sound will come out but if it is properly adjusted beautiful music will pour from it so also our souls must be ready to do his will whatever it may be for us even if we have to sacrifice our worldly possessions our home and our friends to follow his call dear brothers and sisters you and i are called like the prophets to continue the mission of god to reunite the entire creation in god by speaking god's word to his people and revealing to people his will in their life like prophets 
we need to take bold steps in order to challenge the world and live an exemplary life and doing god's will in our personal life i would like to conclude my reflections by quoting from the gospel of st john chapter 15 verse 16 you did not choose me but i chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit fruit that will last and so that whatever you ask in my name the father will give you wish you all the best may god blesses